Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 99 and the question is number 9. It reads, K is a particle which is 20 meters west of another particle, T. Their velocities are i hat plus 2j hat meters per second and negative i hat, negative 2j hat respectively. Find the velocity of K relative to D, T excuse me, and find the shortest distance between them in a subsequent motion. So the first thing we need to do is sketch the motion. So we draw our y-axis and our x-axis, making our xy or Cartesian plane. Then we sketch the vectors themselves. So we know that k is, we'll say, 20 meters west. So we'll say if this is north, south, east, west. All right. So just need to take take uh, care as to where you're going to put them. So one is due west of another. So I'm going to put, we'll say, p here, and I'm going to say that the other vector t or particle t is at the origin. It's just easier to do it that way. So p is uh, i hat, or excuse me, k is i hat plus 2j hat. So it's going in this direction, in the, we'll say, plus quadrant. So k is equal to i hat plus 2j hat. And then t is negative 2 i hat, negative 2 j hat. So it's this quadrant. like so. Alright, and we know this, we'll say from here to here is 20 meters. So we're asked to get, to find the velocity of k relative to t. So we're finding v k t. So this means that t considers itself stationary. What is k doing? So it's v k minus v t, and that's equal to i hat plus 2 j hat minus minus 2 i hat minus 2j. Just be careful with your with your brackets and your signs and it'll be grand. And this turns out to be 3i hat plus 4j hat. Alright, so that was pretty straightforward. The next part of the question says find the shortest distance between them in a subsequent subsequent motion. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out the magnitude of the vector vkt. And this, of course, is just Pythagoras, so it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which turns out to be 5. So the overall speed of the vector vkt is 5 meters per second. And if you want to find its direction, you'll say tan, inverse tan of 4 over 3. So you're going, to get, you're going to get the angle at theta is equal to, say, 53 degrees, like so. So if I want to sketch the vector here, I'll do the following. VKT, it means that T is stationary, what is K doing? So here was our XY, our Cartesian plane. So I said T was stationary. And if you can remember from the start, I placed T at the origin. So, here is T. We know that 20 meters away from it, we have the, ve uh, we have the, uh, the particle K. And K, if T is stationary, it looks like K is doing 3 I hat, plus 4j hat, which is in the first quadrant, like so. Let's say this is v k t 3i hat plus 4j hat. Alright, so we're asked to find the shortest distance uh, between them in their subsequent motion. Now, how do we describe this view? If k is here, it is this distance from t. If it's here, it's this distance from t. If it's here, it's this distance. Now, the question is, when is this line shortest? And it is shortest when there is a right angle between uh, vkt and t itself. That, that's when it's shortest. Because you look this, it's getting longer, it's long, long, it's getting shorter, 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 shorter. It gets to its shortest, and then we'll get, start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's at its shortest when VKT is perpendicular to, um, to the line KT. So how do we do this then? We'll just redraw it as follows. If we draw, uh, there's, that was the origin at T. Uh, this was our 90 degree angle. Uh, that was 90, like so. There's our 90 degrees, right? So we knew this was 20, like that, 
All right, so now we need to, and we knew of course that it was moving at 53 degrees, like so. So we have one of the, the sides and we have the, one of the angles. So as a result, we're able to get any of the other sides. So if we say, for example, what is, what is sine, what is sine of 53 degrees? Well, that's equal to its opposite here, and it's going to call that O over 20. Therefore, O is equal to 20 times the sine of 53. And that turns out to be 16 meters. And that's the, that's this, this side here corresponds to the 90 degree angle, which corresponds to the minimum distance between them. And that's 16 meters, and that is correct. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, and subscribe to my channel.